Hearts uh, way of folding and underwear will fit. Hey guys, welcome to Live, Laugh, and Lori. My name is Lori, and today I have a huge Timu haul for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I did bring scissors today. So, and I do think that this is a partial order, so I'm not exactly sure what's in here. I do think I have some Barbie clothes, though, which I'm really excited about. Have you seen the price of Barbie clothes in stores? Oh my gosh, they're so expensive. And I really hope that the ones that I get today are of quality. And let me tell you, if they are, I'm going to be buying a lot because I don't want to have to make them myself. I will say, I think they've used an entire roll of tape on this box. So this may take me a minute to get opened. So let me get this started and I'll be right back. Okay, the first item I have for today are small little storage boxes. Um, they have these in multiple sizes with, and I think I've got a couple of different sizes in here. Um, but this is one, and get it open here. It has lots of of little bitty holes, but this would be great for keeping your socks separated or um, you can put your underwear, fold them up and keep them in here and keep them nicely separated and organized in your drawer. So this one has 11 slots to put things in. So that is pretty great. But to kind of show you the size, I think this is a little bit bigger than what a cell phone will. Yeah, so it's a little bit wider than that to kind of give you an idea of the size. So yeah, great thing to use. I use Marie Kondo's way of folding and underwear will fit great inside that. Now the next, oh, I got two items here. Okay, um, this is something that's really, really cool. It is a refillable perfume bottle. Now I got two of these in two different sizes because I just wanted to see the difference in them. And so what you do, you can see here, the whole thing comes apart and then you can just pour your perfume into the hole. You screw it back in put your lid back on and then this right here tells you how much you have in there so you're going to be able to see when you're getting low and when you need to add more and this would be very convenient to carry around in your purse and it's got a nice little mister on it so this is really nice next thing we have is called oh called the one trip grip I don't know about you but Going to the grocery and coming home with all of the bags and trying to carry them into the house is just awful because it takes a million trips. So that's what this is for. You hold the full bag. Then if you, here, let me get it off the cardboard. Okay, so this is what you hold on to. If you see, it opens up here. You can slide all of your bags on here and then instead of your hand having to hold 15 million little straps for your bag, this is gonna hold them. And so it's gonna take the stress off of your hand and put it on here so you can carry many, many more bags. So hopefully you only have to do one trip. I think this is a brilliant idea. It's plastic and it's got, if you see right here, it's. I'm going to say kind of the little rubberized feel so it's a little softer on your hand. It's got places for your fingers to go in. Has the depression head here where you open it up. So yeah, I think this is great. Next we have, well, it's light green and I don't know what it is. So let's get it out and look at it. It's, oh, it's a hole punch. I think. Okay, so what this is for is for clipping your corner. So if you see this has a square corner on it, but if I wanted to round it a little bit, it's got a little groove here on the front. I poke this into the little groove, give it a pinch. If you see, it's kind of rounded it. Here's one that I did earlier. So it puts a nice little rounded corner on it and then it catches your little pieces of paper. If they completely come off, it catches them down in this little container. So very, very cute, but it's just something nice to make 
cards and things look a little more customized by having the rounded corners rather than square corners. Next, I have a set of nails. They're called Do-It-Yourself Natural, Delicate, and Comfortable. So if you see, I'll put it right side up, you've got actually a whole lot of sizes. So you've got, it's a French manicure, but yet it's almost an ombre edge. So these are really nice. Now with this, you get the nails. You also get, ah, if I can get it out of the package, you get the little sticky things. Um, they look kind of like smiley faces, but anyway, you get the, the little stickies to put on the back of the nail. Then you also get a little nail file to make them fit correctly. And you have a little orange wood stick. So nice little kit to do your nails. Next I have, I don't know. Oh, I told you I got a couple of uh, different things for carrying perfume with you. This is the other one. This one you load differently. If you look down here at the bottom, you actually take the, tell you what, hang on, let me go get a bottle of perfume. Okay, so this is a bottle of black by Kenneth Cole. And when I should be able, there we go. So you take the, the little squirt part off of your bottle. And then you take this little thing at the bottom and you poke it. And then I think I have to like, as you can see, I just keep squirting it in there. So I played around with this a little bit, and what you need to do is where I was holding it this way, you have to hold it upright. And if you think about it, um, you've got the plastic piece that goes to the bottom that it's sucking it up from, so you have to have it up this way. And then if, if you look, when I do this, can you see how now it has a little bit of liquid in there? And so let's see what kind of spray we have with it. Let me put my lid on back on Kenneth Cole so that I don't lose it. But now let's see what kind of a spray we have. Oh, nice mist. So this is very cool. And again, it has the little part on the side. So it's just a matter of do you want to poke it or do you want to pour it in as with the other one? So either one I think would be great. One's a little bit smaller. I uh, would fit more in a pocket. And then I have, don't know what this is. Well, you squeeze it. But I don't know what it's doing. Let's see what this says. It says one piece. Well... Oh, I know what it is. It's an automatic nail threader. So if you look up here, there it is. You poke your nail, uh, you poke your, uh, or not nail threader, needle threader. You take your needle, you put it up here, and then that will poke the thread through the hole. Looks a little complicated, but who's to say whether it works or not? I do think I have a package of needles in here, so we'll actually see how well this works. Next thing I have are the stretchy lids that you can put on um, containers. It's so loud. I'm so sorry. But anyway, it comes in a large package of things. And then let's say I've made a big thing of like chips and salsa, but 
I don't want to eat all of them right now and I've got them in a big bowl or on a big plate, I can take this and actually stretch it over the edges and then it actually puts a sealing lid on top and then you stick it in the fridge. So um, these are made, I think, of silicone. So I've got one and six. So you get a package of six, all different sizes. Pretty cool. This says this is a storage clothes bag. It's similar to the little white plastic one that I had, but this one is much wider. This would be great to stick in your suitcase and each one of these put your outfits. Using Marie Kondo's folding method, I could probably fold up a shirt and a pair of pants and put socks and underwear in each one of these little compartments and then stick this whole thing in my suitcase. Oh my gosh, these are great. But imagine if you've got a deep drawer and you want to be able to like separate your t-shirts. This is really, really nice. And then when you're not using it, it is collapsible. And let me tell you, I love collapsible things because a lot of times I do have extras and I don't use them all the time. So they don't take up a lot of space when you're not using them. Next, I have a whole little package of doll clothes. I think these are for a boy, but those are kind of hard to find, and we, for some reason, we do have lots of boys, and they never have clothes on, so let's see what we've got. They don't know how to spell. It says, own, very gentle, very fresh, but things are spelled wrong, so anyway, shirt. With the Velcro up the back, we have little like swim shorts, another shirt. This one says full match, Catino or so. Girls can't read anyway. Well, I guess seven year old can. This one says white bear. This one says summer. Another pair of trunks or shorts. A pineapple shirt. Another pair of shorts. Another pair of shorts. Another pair of shorts. Then when we get into the accessories, I have a pair of glasses. A neat pair of boots got a guitar so maybe he's supposed to be a fancy schmancy guitarist but if he wants to go swimming he does have a ducky float he can skateboard even has a place to slide their feet in headset with a microphone got two of those have some hangers to hang their clothing on, although if these are for a boy, they have bows on them. And then white tennis shoes, dark sort of tennis shoes, and then a dark pair of loafers. And I think this was only just a few dollars, so this is a lot of stuff. I'm really impressed with their dog clothes. Now, I will say that the quality of these shirts are not the greatest. The misspelling on the fabrics is kind of goofy, but it is Barbie clothes. Okay, so this is an expandable little shelf to put in your fridge. Um, if you've got where uh, you have a little bit extra at the top and it goes wasted, you can slide this on to your shelf and then it's expandable to however large the sizes that you need. But you slide this on and I think of like keeping like ketchup packets and things like that in so you can pull it out when you need it and then slide it back in and it's a great space saver. Well, they say they're transparent, which they are. Oh, I know what these are. These are reusable like baggies. So each one comes in a pack of two. 
just like a regular baggie up here. So you put your food inside and then when you're done with it, instead of having to throw it away, you just wash it, stick it in the dishwasher um, over the top um, and then you get to reuse your baggies. So I got four of these. Got another Barbie dress. I think this is supposed to be one of the fancy schmancy ones. Oh, yes. This is another one that has almost a paper feel to it. But beautiful dress. So now I have a gorgeous one for each girl, so they aren't going to fight over who has a pretty dress. And next I got a pop socket for the back of my phone. I tend to break these quite frequently. I just put one on there from the Dollar Tree, but this is very cute. And it, I do better with the ring ones rather than where it's just the circle that sticks out. So this is going to be the part, the sticky that's going to go on there. And then it just has where I can slide my finger into it. So very nice. And then it also will hold your phone up. Okay, next I have, I don't have any idea. It just says it's blue. So let's see what's in the package. You know, it's always a little like Christmas when I get these because it's been so, goodness, um, it's been so long since I've ordered it. It really hasn't been that long. It's probably been less than a week, but because I do it, rather frequently. I don't remember what I ordered when. I have to see what's in this cute little box. Oh, and I know what it is. This is a privacy stamp. Yeah. So, um, let's say you're getting ready to throw mail away, um, and it's got your social security number or something on it. You take this and see how I can cover that up. And now you're not going to be able to read what's underneath it. This is really handy to have. It's already inked and then you could re-ink it if it gets low on your ink. Next, I have a sprayer. Um, and this is supposed to be the continual sprayers. So, you know what, I can pour some water in here. I have my water bottle sitting, or my water jug right here next to it. So let's see what kind of a mist it has. There we go. Take advantage of it since I have it sitting right here. Let's put this back on. Oh, ooh. So it is a long lasting mist. So that's really nice. I'll tell you what I will probably use that for. Um, I've got one of the big things that you wind your hair around at night and then you wrap it around. But I like to get my hair just a tiny bit damp before I do that. So that is probably what I will use to dampen my hair. Next, I have a thing of flowers. I've actually been impressed with the, with the different florals that I have got from them. And I think this is the actual first flower flowers. And I love cabbage roses and peonies and things like that. So this is one stem. Oh, these are pretty. So they're going to have to be floofed out a little bit, but these are actually very, very nice. So here, let's borrow my coffee cup a moment. Put these down in the coffee cup. So cabbage roses. Some are a little more open than the others. Um, little things kind of like baby's breath in here. The leaves are nice. So yeah, I think this is very, very nice. Make a nice little floral arrangement. Maybe not in my coffee cup, but it'll do for now. This feels different. Well... Remember when I talked about the pumice stones? Um, 
I have a package of four. So maybe I will be giving these away as gifts because I can't see me ever using five of these. I would have to, I guess I could put one in each bathroom. That might be an interesting thing. But anyway, these are more of those pumice stones. And this is just a pack of four. Oh, more Barbie clothes. This one looks really pretty. Another fancy schmancy dress. Ooh. I might like to wear this one. So it looks like they all have a bit of an overskirt. This is gorgeous fabric. Look at those. It's a really, really nice. Now, the edges aren't finished, but you know what? For Barbie clothes, these are beautiful. Okay. And we have a package of Barbie clothes for girls. So, it, and I'm not going to go through everything that's in here, but we've got some necklaces. There are shoes. Um... Shoes and boots and crowns. So let's just see what we have in the clothing. Whoa! Well, those kind of went everywhere. But these are all short dresses. They have the Velcro up the back. This one has uh, kind of like spaghetti straps. It looks like these are all pretty much going to be the, the same shape. It's just, they're all completely different patterns. And so what they've done, instead of hemming things, they've used pinking shears, which is fine. These all have a little bit of a satin feel to them. This one's cool. Eight dresses, plus all of the accessories. Not a bad deal. Now, these are kind of a replacement. Um, we were at, oh, what is the name of the store? Cow Ranch. And it was right before Easter, and I walked through the store, and they had tons of baby chickens. Little bitty chicks, and they were all so cute, and I wanted one so badly. And my husband said this was the only kind that I could have. And so... I got some of these for my granddaughters because I just thought they were the cutest thing ever. But then one of them happened to be uh, wound up a little bit too tight. And she started spinning around. So I thought I would get some more. They, they're little hoppy chickens. And I got them. It was a pack of four. And I got... Well, it was a pack of three or four, and I got blue, white, and yellow. Oh, these are supposed to be tropical leaves. Or maybe these are the ferns. Oh, these are kind of cool. I needed something that hangs down a little bit. So now I will say these are these are very much plastic. These are not like silk flowers or anything. But from a distance. These are really very, very nice. I like that they have the variegated leaves on them so they're not all the same color. And you can fluff it up and spread it out as much as you want. Um, if you needed to, you could cut these off down here to where you have individual little strands. But this is going to be great to put uh, where I need the hanging down. I have a new grandbaby. And so I needed another bottle brush. And so this time I decided to try one of these new kinds. This is made out of silicone. Um, it's harder. It's a little bit longer. And you're really going to be able to scrub your sides. These are really, really nice. Also, getting down inside vases to get down into the corners. These are really going to be handy. And I also got a purse for my four-year-old granddaughter who loves kitties and so this is going to be her little kitty purse let's get all the 
inside then. So it has a corded little strap and it's so cute. It's a little kitty face. They had lots of different things, but she loves kitties. So this is her new little purse. Oh, remember when I was talking about getting needles? I got needles and a needle case. So this is the case to keep your needles in. Just a nice little screw in case. Here are my needles. So I will just take this whole thing, put it in here. Nice little way to keep your needles. Now let's see how our needle threader works with this. I don't have any thread sitting around, but we can pretend that we have some. Here you go. I'm going to lay my needle on here, put my thread on it, and then you see, it goes right through. Now I can't pull my needle out. So that threads your needle. Pretty cool. It's not that I have problems threading a needle, it's that I have problems seeing close enough to thread a needle. So my hope is this is going to make things quite a bit easier for me. I just love this little wooden case. Oh, um, we have a pool in our backyard and the little ones are getting big enough that they can reach over and unlock the gate. So, I got something so they will not. Ah! But I got a little bitty padlock. And see? So we can set it on here, and then the girls are not going to be able to get this off. Next, I got a battery voltage checker to see if they have any juice in them. So basically, you put your batteries in here, you slide it, and then this is going to tell you whether it's got many power or not. We have a tendency to get batteries everywhere, so I think this is pretty cool. We lose them and find them, and then, is this a good battery? Is this not a good battery? Now we can check them. Next. Oh. I injured my neck years ago. Um, and so... I, I sit with my head forward a lot and I need to work on getting it back. But when I sleep at night, I really need some neck support. That is what this is. You lay down. See, here's the position that you lay in. But you put this under your head when you lay down. Oh, that feels wonderful. You know, I used to see uh, Egyptian pillows that showed how they lay down. I always wondered, why would they have things like this? This is lovely. It is got a little bit of flexibility to it. I mean, it is plastic, but it's almost a rubberized plastic, so you've got some movement to it. I think this is going to be lovely to use. Because this is turning into an enormous haul, I think I'm going to have to turn this into two videos. So if you have stayed with me this long, I'm going to do one more thing, but then I'm going to give you a break and I will come back with the rest of it because I've still got about a half of a box left. So this is the last item that I'm going to show you in this video. And this is actually an absorbent sweatband. So if I am out working in my garden, Put this on. This will actually keep the sweat from dripping into my eyeballs, which really burns. So hopefully this is very absorbent. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've gotten a kick out of the things that I've seen. And I will tell you, Timu is just amazing at the amount of things that they have, the variety they have, but their prices. And I will tell you, I am extremely impressed with the Barbie clothes. 
So if you don't buy anything else from Timu, I'm telling you, spending money on the Barbie clothes is going to save you a fortune if you have daughters or granddaughters that you need to get Barbie clothes for. So again, thank you so much for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to know when I have more videos coming up, you need to subscribe down below and then you'll always get a notification when I have something else coming up. So uh, you will see me in the next video wearing the exact same clothing because I'm just going to turn this off and then just start again. So thank you again for joining me today and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.